for decades the race for oil-shaped global conflicts and alliances. Today, a new and even more critical battle is unfolding, one for control over semiconductors. Yes, these tiny chips which power our modern world. Semiconductors are small silicon chips that form the backbone of a $500 billion industry. These chips drive everything from smartphones, cars and household appliances to advanced AI systems and national defence technologies. By 2030, the value of this industry is expected to double, making it one of the most crucial resources in the modern world. The stakes are incredibly high. Two of the world's largest economies, the USA and China, are already playing their hands to dominate this critical technology. So, who is winning this game? Welcome to Nautical Depths, and today we will dive deep into this chip war between USA and China. China, the world's largest manufacturer and second largest economy, is pouring billions into its domestic chip making sector, determined to achieve self-reliance. Meanwhile, the USA, a global leader in advanced semiconductor technology, is cutting China off from critical tools and equipment, aiming to slow down its progress. This is not just a trade dispute or an economic competition, it's a battle for technological and geopolitical supremacy. Whoever controls the supply chains, the companies and the innovations surrounding semiconductors will hold immense power over the future of global innovation, security and influence. But one must ask here why these tiny chips have become so important. Well, we're glad you ask that importance of modern chips in this era. Semiconductor chips are the unsung heroes of this digital age, driving innovation and transforming nearly every aspect of modern life. These tiny silicon components are at the core of devices we use daily, from smartphones and laptops to cars and home appliances. They perform critical functions such as data processing, signal control and memory storage, enabling the seamless operation of today's technology. In industries like healthcare, semiconductors power life-saving medical equipment, while in entertainment, they render stunning graphics and immersive experiences through gaming consoles and VR headsets. Beyond consumer devices, semiconductors are revolutionising industries like automotive, where they enable self-driving technologies, and water management, where they support real-time monitoring for sustainable practices. Most importantly, semiconductors are the foundation of artificial intelligence, allowing advanced algorithms to process massive amounts of data with unmatched speed and efficiency. Background of this ongoing chip war. The story of chip wars begins during the Cold War, a period that shaped the birth of the semiconductor industry. After World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union competed as global superpowers, and this rivalry fueled the demand for advanced technology. The US military needed precise guidance systems for missiles and satellites, leading to a relentless push for greater computing power. This quest laid the foundation for the semiconductor revolution. In the 1950s, scientists transitioned from bulky vacuum tubes to transistors, a groundbreaking invention that made electronics smaller, faster and more reliable. The invention of the integrated circuit, or CHIP, by Jack Kilby in 1958 marked the next leap. This innovation consolidated multiple transistors onto a single piece of silicon, revolutionising both military and civilian electronics. By the 1960s, Gordon Moore's prediction that chip power would double every two years drove rapid advancements and expanded semiconductor applications. Japan emerged as a strong player in the 1960s, leveraging American technology to produce innovative consumer electronics. Companies like Sony use semiconductors to create products such as transistor radios and televisions, transforming Japan into an economic powerhouse. However, the US retained its edge, prioritising semiconductors as a strategic resource through initiatives like Semitech or Semiconductor Manufacturing Technology in 1987. This move strengthened US industry and ensured military superiority around the globe. 
The 1980s saw the rise of Taiwan as a global semiconductor hub, with the founding of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or more commonly TSMC, by Morris Chang. TSMC revolutionized the industry with the foundry model, focusing solely on manufacturing chips for other companies. This allowed economies of scale, reducing costs and enabling specialized production. Simultaneously, the Fabless model emerged, where companies concentrated on chip design, outsourcing manufacturing to firms like TSMC. This shift decentralized the supply chain, moving much of chip production to East Asia. China entered the semiconductor race in the late 20th century, aiming to reduce its reliance on foreign technology. With government support and low manufacturing costs, China invested heavily in building its domestic chip industry. By the 2000s, it became clear that semiconductors were not just vital for economic growth, but also critical for military and national security. This realization heightened tensions with the US as both nations sought to dominate the industry. The competition is not just about industry leadership, but also about controlling a resource that powers the digital age, shaping the future of technology and global influence. Before the pandemic, early escalations during Trump's presidency. The chip war began escalating during the Trump presidency, driven by rising US-China tensions over technology dominance. In 2018, the US-China trade war set the stage for decoupling with tariffs and restrictions targeting industries like semiconductors. By 2019, the US imposed its first major sanctions, placing Huawei on its entity list. This move banned American companies from supplying Huawei with critical components, including semiconductors. Huawei's access to key suppliers like Qualcomm and TSMC was also restricted, severely impacting its 5G and smartphone operations. Around the same time, the US started targeting SEMIEC, China's leading chip manufacturer, by limiting its access to advanced manufacturing tools over fears that its chips might have military applications. This marked a strategic shift as the US sought to block China's access to technologies that could help it compete in advanced computing. Pandemic era, disruptions and accelerations. The pandemic further exposed vulnerabilities in global semiconductor supply chains as production disruptions underscored the world's heavy reliance on East Asian manufacturing hubs like Taiwan's TSMC and South Korea's Samsung. A global chip shortage highlighted the geopolitical risks of these dependencies. During this time, Trump's administration expanded sanctions on Chinese firms, imposing stricter export controls that effectively cut Huawei off from chips manufactured using US origin technologies. Even non-American companies like TSMC were barred from supplying Huawei with advanced chips as long as US software or equipment was involved in the manufacturing process. Similarly, Chinese manufacturers like SMIC were denied access to cutting-edge EUV lithography machines from Dutch company ASML, which are critical for producing chips smaller than 7 nanometers. These actions further curtailed China's ability to advance in the semiconductor industry. Post-pandemic, strategic alliances and countermeasures. After the pandemic, the chip war intensified as the US and its allies focused on securing supply chains and countering China's technological rise. In 2021, the Biden administration continued Trump-era policies, forming the Chip4 alliance with Japan, South Korea and Taiwan. This coalition aimed to coordinate semiconductor policies, secure critical supply chains, and block China's access to advanced technologies. In 2022, the US passed the CHIPS Act, allocating $52 billion to boost domestic chip manufacturing and reduce reliance on foreign sources. The US also introduced additional export controls targeting China's AI and supercomputing sectors by limiting the availability of advanced chips from NVIDIA and AMD. 
In response, China launched massive investments in its domestic semiconductor industry, aiming to achieve self-sufficiency in legacy chip production while pushing for advancements in cutting-edge technologies. By 2023, China had begun stockpiling older generation chips and raw materials to mitigate the impact of US sanctions. Meanwhile, Taiwan's TSMC, producing over 50% of the world's chips, gained strategic importance, intensifying US-China tensions. China's response, China's response to US restrictions has been strategic and multifaceted. Since 2015, under President Xi Jinping's leadership, China has pursued self-reliance in critical technologies, investing over $150 billion in its semiconductor industry. The Made in China 2025 strategy aimed to increase domestic chip production to 70% by 2025, although this target has been revised to 75% by 2030. China's state-backed companies like SMIC have advanced rapidly, developing 7 nanometer chips despite US sanctions. To counter export controls, Beijing restricted exports of key materials like gallium and germanium, critical for chip manufacturing, and considered leveraging its dominance in rare earth minerals. Additionally, it banned US chip maker Micron from critical sectors and launched policies encouraging domestic innovation while discouraging reliance on Western technology. Through these efforts, China seeks to reduce vulnerabilities, counteract US sanctions, and emerge as a global leader in semiconductor technology. The chip war between the United States and China is a pivotal conflict that extends far beyond technology, influencing global power dynamics. Currently, the US holds the upper hand, using its sanctions, export controls and strategic alliances to limit China's progress in semiconductor technology. However, only time will reveal who will emerge as the true leader in semiconductor technology. Tell us what you think about this war in the comments below. Meanwhile, subscribe to the Nautical Depths for more content like this.